Well, why don't you come along and feed so I can feed the animals. Come along with me. Do the chickens first. I made this chicken coop out of recycled. Ugh. Here's the chickies. Chicky, chicky, chickies. There they are. Those are some pretty chickies there. They're all waiting for me to put the chicken food down. Let's see if we got any eggs. No eggs today. Not yet. I think we're missing one. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We're missing one. Just one. I have to get to the rabbits here in a little bit. I'm gonna go out and take care of the goats. So, hold on a second. Say good morning, girls. Good morning. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna put you on hold for a second. There we go. Hey there. Yeah. Yeah, dot right here. This is blue. Hi, blue. This is Bitsy. Bitsy, Bitsy. This is Goose. She's gonna have some babies. She's sticking out there. And that's a little man. He's going to the auction in about two weeks. He's just too mean. And we got uh, the two little males over here. This is, that's Prince, and that's Hopper. He's a fluff ball. A lot of fur. Two males. He's a pygmy dwarf. Pygmy Nigerian dwarf. Uh, that's it for right now. Hey, how y'all doing? It's been raining cats and dogs for about a day and a half now. Let's get this slow one down. I think to, tonight, tomorrow, it'll be raining cat, cats and hamsters. So it's getting warmer out. Getting that time of the year. Getting itchy fingers about getting in the garden. We got a pull weeds, make a few more boxes, raise beds, and uh, get to planting. I'll show you what I got here. See if I can turn this thing around. I got a, went and got a load of horse manure. One, uh, about a bucket and a half or so. Got some more added in here. Got some put in that one. You know, some putting that one over there, and that one, and this one, and this one. I've got some uh, stacked up over there on the end. i got to pull these weeds out. Now, these two beds, these are for climbing veggies. Things like that. And look what I found growing in the raised bed. It's a dead nettle. I'm going to be picking this stuff. Some free herbs. You never know what Mother Nature is going to give you. I'm not sure what those things are. They ain't carrots for sure. <clears throat> but they're grown everywhere. Even got a sticker bush in there. That's got to come out. It'll stab you. But yeah, if you got to get in the practice of starting to grow your own food. The way things are going, you got to start growing your own food. And it takes, it you can't learn it overnight. It takes quite a few seasons to get it right, get, it, get your growing right. But this here is going to be where my uh, other raised bed is going to be. 
You got an apple tree right there. I got an apple tree right there. Then out here, I'm going to put some pear trees and maybe cherry trees, something like that. It takes a couple of years for them to get established, but once you get them planted, let them grow, get, keep it staked up, we have some fruit. We can't grow peaches or nectarines or stuff like that around here. It's just too hard to do. But that's it for now. I keep you updated. Y'all learn how to grow. You know, the food you grow in your garden sure does taste a lot better than the food in the store. And you get to learn how to do it. Y'all keep straight out there.